So I'm about to show you guys how to download and play workshop maps online for Rocket League. So first what you want to do, you want to go to Microsoft or Google, then you want to go to Bacchus Mod, right here. And then if you want, uh, there's a lot of videos out there on how to download Bacchus Mod itself. So you can just look up how to download Box Mod and you should be good to go. But I'm teaching you how to play online workshop maps. So you know, plugins, type in workshop map loader. It's right here because I've already switched it up. And then it's the first one. It's workshop map loader and downloader by VSync. And then you click install with Box Mod. Open. This should pop up. It's just waiting for the download and it's installed so you can close that okay and then you also so go back you also need to get rocket host so right here search that and then it's this one by jet fox install with Bacchus mod then the little black box should pop up yep right here it's just running it's downloading it there we go and then click OK. And then there's one more thing that we need to download. Again, go right here, delete all of this. And then we have to get RL Lobby. That's how you play online. So RL Host is how you uh, host the games. And then RL Lobby is how you join the hosted games. So install with box mod. And then open. Let's wait for the install. There we go. Okay. And then we're good here. We do not have to come back to Boxmod site. But now, so open up Boxmod itself. Go file, open Boxmod folder. So first we have to make a file. So you click, you right click down here, new folder and then you can you can technically make this whatever you want to call it like you can name it like for me i have mods but you could call it workshop fo uh, folder workshop maps whatever you want to call it but you just open that um i would use this but i've already got one downloaded so i'm just going to delete this and use the one that i have i named it mods you can do that too if you want open this and then up here, we gotta copy this. So copy, and then launch Rocket League. All right, so now when you're in Rocket League, click F2, go to plugins, and then, so it should be down here for you, but I have it favorited, so it's up here, it's workshop map loader. You can set a different bind if you want, but, I have a bind set, so you can just open it whenever. And open plugin window. Okay. And then right here, you want to delete that. Paste what you copied in your folders back. And then you want to have a forward slash like that. Save path. Refresh maps. And then, so I already have maps downloaded, but for you, this would probably be empty. And then what you want to do to download a game, you just go to search workshop steam or search workshop rocket league maps.us. So you can do either of these, um, you can just search like any maps, uh, for example, rings three, it's probably one of the most familiar, uh, workshop maps rings three right there. And then it's a lot of them. So you can download that. I already have it downloaded, but um, here, I'll download like this one for you guys right here. So you just, this pops up and then yes. Just gotta wait for it to download. And then this little black box pops up and then you're good to go. You can go back in here, map loader refresh the maps 
Yeah, <laughs> I gotta find it. I got a few maps downloaded. Uh, here it is. Speed Jump 2 by DMC. And then, so, uh, if you want to play online for uh, Rocket Host, you got to uh, click Join Server. And then it'll say this. Click Yes. And then OK. And then you'll have to restart Rocket League. So, I won't do that yet because I want to show you how to do everything else first. But, so, you go down, you find Rocket Host, should be down here for you, but I've got it favorited, so it's up here. And then you open Rocket Host GUI. And then enable custom maps. You can play pretty much any map. I've, uh, in my experience, some maps haven't worked for me. So, like, Shark Chaos, this is, uh, this is one, this one didn't work for me. I don't know why. I don't know why it doesn't work, but I don't know if it's not supported, but like Lothamir's uh, sumo volcano map. You see him play that sometimes. That's pretty fun. It That works. And then before you do, before you start it, you want to make sure you have your right mutators. And then you want to enable RL lobby if you're playing online. And then enable custom maps up here. You want to pick your map. I'm, for example, I'm going to do mini golf. You request server. Oh, <laughs> yeah, for mini golf, it can only be up to eight players. So request that server. Might lag a little bit, there we go. And then if you want a password, you can, you can add one. But for me, I'm not gonna. Then join it. I can close these now. And I'm in a, my own mini golf server. Anyone can join this because it's, uh, it's no password. But just wait for it to load up. Uh, you can add in game mods, game event mods, game controls, grant admin permissions, and then that'll give you the uh, ability to pause the game change the score like i can make it 12 to 4 and then bam see 12 to 4 and then so i'm gonna leave this all right so now i'm gonna show you guys how to join uh rl host from rl lobby so you open up rl lobby oh i accidentally opened up this too all right so you open up rl lobby you find the one that you want my friend made one so it's right here there's no password, so I can just join. Click connect. I'm loading in. Okay. And then close that. I'm in. Oh, I think he left, but you get the point. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you play online with your friends. And thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed and thought this was helpful, leave a like, subscribe.